Hey, welcome to Airman Vision. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about additional testing that you need to take to qualify for broadcast journalism, or as it's now known as public affairs in the Air Force. So I just finished up doing some additional testing. Public affairs is one of the jobs that I want in the Air Force. Now, before it was broken off into two separate parts, photojournalist and broadcast journalism, but now those jobs have combined to make a new AFSC, which is public affairs. Now, public affairs is a smaller career field, so it is kind of hard to get into, but my thing is, is if you don't try, then your answer is already no, so it doesn't hurt to try. There is some additional testing and interviews that you had to do. So I was actually requesting to do those uh, with my recruiter. I was asking him to find out the information because he had not put anyone into that career field, so he didn't know about the additional testing that was required. So he reached out, got the information, and then got me set up with an interview. So the first thing I had to do was an EDT, which is English Diagnostic Test. And this was a 100 question test that tested general English knowledge, things like spelling, capitalization, punctuation, word usage. So it would give you a simple sentence and it had a few different parts of the sentence highlighted. And then it would have A through E and you would select the highlighted part of the sentence that was the error in the sentence or if there was no error, then you would select E, which is no error. So I actually ended up getting an 82 on that, which I'm kind of embarrassed about because I'm like, man, I must really not know my English that well, but I did pass it. And it also asks if you want to print a certificate. I would suggest to download that certificate as a PDF. Today, when I was in his office, he's like, do you have anything that has your name attached to that? And I was like, oh, I have this certificate. And he's like, that works. So make sure you uh, download that certificate as a PDF or take a picture with your phone to make sure you have the certificate of completion of the EDT and it'll have your name and it'll have your passing score on there. The EDT is something that I took at home on my computer so it wasn't anything that was supervised. I just sat at my house and took it. It took me maybe a hour or so it probably wouldn't have taken me that long but halfway through it, it made me restart and have to do the whole thing all over again but the second time it worked out good today i had to go into my recruiter's office and i had to read a few different scripts while i was being recorded it wasn't a video recording it was only an audio recording i have watched a video before of someone who mentioned doing a audio recording and they said they had to go to the nearest base to them but for me, I just had to go into my recruiter's office and my recruiter had to watch me and also record me and you only get one chance. You can't um, do retakes at all. So there were three different parts. I cannot share the scripts with you because we are not allowed to see them beforehand and they give them to you and they'll press start and then you have to start reading through it. So the first one I had to read was kind of like a news story as if I was a newscaster. I read a news story and then there was like a commercial interjection that I also had to read. So then we stopped the recording for that one and then he gave me a paper that had five sentences on it so he'd start the recording and I would read through those five sentences. And the very last part is you are going to have up to 60 seconds to talk about yourself, why you want this job, what your goals are and things like that. And just kind of talk about yourself and why this job would be a good fit for you in 60 seconds. So that is the interview process that you have to do for public affairs. You do the EDT and you'll do your three audio interviews and the next part is your recruiter will submit them and if you get approved or if you pass them basically then you wait on a phone call possibly so fingers crossed that's something that may happen for me basically what they're looking for in your audio recording is that you do not have a speech impediment and that you can speak clearly as you're giving information now keep in mind recruiters do have a lot on their plate and they do not know every single aspect of every single Air Force job. So sometimes you might just have to do your own research like this right here. I wanted to do public affairs and I found from another video that you have to do an interview process. So I was like, hey, I want that interview process on my record. So by some chance it could show like, hey, she's qualified for the job and she already has this test done. So I was requesting that from my recruiter. Don't expect your recruiters to give you 
all of those details and information. Uh, there was another job that I wanted to put on my list and I wasn't able to because the interviews were already filled up for that as well. So I had my recruiter do some digging into that and um, I'm not able to test for that job because it's already full. Thankfully, I was able to test for this job. Does that mean I'm going to get this job? No, but it is just an extra step to possibly give you a little boost into having a better chance of getting that job. So I just wanted to let you guys know that information since it's something that I just went through. Hopefully this video helped and best of luck to all you out there.